These are some of the fastest vehicles ever created, but also the most expensive. Each part of a Formula One car has to be perfectly engineered to meet the exact specifications of different tracks and weather conditions. And Formula One teams can expect to spend 15 to 20 million dollars to produce the two cars they race each season. Each car has over 15,000 individual components, but they all connect to the chassis. This central part of the car is made up of a dozen layers of carbon fiber and is twice as strong as steel, allowing it to withstand the extreme forces that come with 200 mile per hour speeds. It also helps protect the driver and supports the weight of other components bolted on, all at a cost of around $1 million. Planes have wings to help lift them off the ground. Formula One cars have wings to keep them stuck to the ground, giving them more speed and ability to dart around corners. F1 cars have wings in the front and rear, but the front wing is much more complicated and does most of the work. Each ridge and curve is perfectly designed to direct air around the wheels and down the sides of the car, improving performance. The two wings together can cost up to $500,000 and are sometimes even replaced mid-race, because any sign of damage to this part can greatly reduce the speed of the car. Safely tucked in the center of the chassis is the driver, sitting in a hard carbon fiber seat that is molded to his body. If a driver's weight fluctuates even slightly during the season, the seat will have to be adjusted, adding more cost to its $50,000 base price. The seats also act as a sort of spine board through straps and inserts it has, allowing the driver to be safely extracted from the car in case of an accident. In front of the driver is a steering wheel and all his controls for the car. This small black box costs team $70,000 and aside from steering the car, it controls dozens of other things that the average driver wouldn't even know existed to help improve the car's performance. But it also controls simple functions like radio and gear shifting. There's even a drink button that pumps the driver's favorite drink through a tube connected to his helmet when pressed. Directly behind the driver is the car's fuel tank, and even something as simple as this is extremely expensive, costing around $150,000. The tank has to be made out of Kevlar so that it's nearly impossible to rupture during an accident and causing burning fuel to spill onto the driver. Directly behind the fuel tank is the heart of the vehicle and its most complicated and expensive part, the engine. $12 million would be on the low end for an F1 power unit in its six systems, including the internal combustion engine. The engine, which takes months to design and build, is refined each year to generate more and more power while consuming less fuel than the year before. Teams pour most of their money into optimizing every part of their power units and is where they get much of their edge in competition. The hidden parts controlling the car can add another million dollars to the total, including the transmission and hydraulic system. Some of the relatively cheaper parts of the car are tires, but they don't last very long and teams can go through several sets per race. Each set costs $3,000, but they degrade quickly from the high speeds they move on hot pavement. Teams also have to keep a stock of tires for different weather conditions and track designs, so they actually spend tens of thousands on tires for each race. The total cost of a complete F1 car can range from 15 to $20 million depending on the team. Even after these huge costs, teams continue to spend money on their cars as each one is rebuilt throughout the season to adjust for different track designs and to repair damaged parts. F1 teams set up and break down their entire operations over 20 times throughout the season, and there's only a week to move everything between races. This includes the entire car, 50 tons of equipment like tools, fuel, and computers, as well as a mobile headquarters that's fitted for 60 engineers and is built from scratch every race. Back in the main headquarters, teams spend so much money on testing their designs that the F1 association has to put limits on how far they can go. Teams use supercomputers to simulate thousands of possible scenarios for each track, telling them the best designs for each part to get the fastest track times. The biggest teams spend so much money testing every possible scenario and finding ways around existing regulations that the F1 association limited the amount of computing power for every single team. Similarly, F1 teams try to replicate the physical world by putting their cars in wind tunnels to test their chassis designs, but this also had to be limited to 25 hours a week, whereas teams were previously running these close to 24-7. 
In total, teams spend around $150 million a year to produce their cars and operate during the season. But for most of F1's history, this wasn't the case, and the bigger teams would sometimes even spend up to half a billion dollars for a season. This budget cap is intended to level the playing field for teams so that it's more challenging for the big teams to win year after year.